So which of the following measures would have most effectively prevented her infection? So something about prevention. They're already infected. What should we have done or they should have done to prevent? I have a 30-year-old woman. She's in the clinic with a week of fatigue, nausea, vomiting, and jaundice. Fatigue, nausea, vomiting is kind of, you know, meh, and it could be a lot of things. The jaundice is a little concerning. She went to a mission trip in a rural area in Southeast Asia. Okay. Uh, played with local families, but consumed home prep meals and unfiltered water. Both of those things are a problem, namely the unfiltered water, um, but a lot of those are a problem. She clearly has jaundice with the scleral icterus and the right upper quadrant tenderness. She has an elevated liver function. Her billy is high. And serolo- we already have serology. Great. Uh, it's positive for anti-Hep A IgM antibodies, telling me I have an acute Hep A infection. Okay. So how do we prevent our 30-year-old female friend from getting hep A? Using mosquito net during sleep. That is not how hepatitis A is transmitted. Receiving hep B before travel. Okay, this is about hep A, so it's not hep B. Avoiding sexual contact with locals. So yeah, hep A can be transmitted that way, but there's nothing in this stem that I, I can't make that assumption that this happened. And so if I can't, make an assumption, right? I can't have evidence for that. It's likely not the right answer. It's also not the most common way hep A is spread. So less likely for me. Taking prophylactic antivirals during travel. Sure, that's great, but we don't have antivirals for hep A um, as far as I remember. And then this is what most people do is they go to their primary care clinic or something like that and they get their travel vaccines. Hep A is a vaccine that we give before travel. I remember in part of the sketch, there is a lady walking around. She has a backpack on because she's a traveler and she has a big old syringe. Um, So right now, this is definitely my leading uh, choice. I'm going to go with this one and let's find out.